Hey everybody, it's me, Mark, Mark Boudelier. Welcome to the Mark Boudelier Show, where we show Johns and sometimes drip. Drip or drown, baby. Drip. Welcome back to the channel. Today, tonight rather, I'm going to be answering a bunch of questions that were submitted to me on Instagram. I put up a story post with a little, you know, ask me a question. And I got a lot of responses, and so I wanted to make one long form video answering those, and hopefully that helps you guys get to know me a little better or whatever. Uh, but before we get too deep into this, if you're new here, hey, welcome, subscribe, give this video a like and a comment, and hit the push notification bell so you know when the next video will be. And if you are a returning customer, thanks. Enjoy this video. And we are very close to hitting 4K subs, which I am super thrilled about. Um, so even more reason to smash, smash that subscribe button so we can get there together. That 4K is sounding pretty good right now. So definitely hit the subscribe button. And with that being said, Let's just jump right into the questions. I'm not gonna be able to answer every single one of these questions, but I'm gonna try to speed run as many as I can. What is your favorite movie? And to answer that question, I really don't watch movies. Ever since I was young, I never really cared for movies that much. My brother and some of my friends are big into movies, but I don't know. I'm not gonna say that I dislike all movies, but I just don't really have a favorite because I don't really watch that many, so yeah. Uh, next up, what age did you start getting into fashion? I'm not gonna give you guys the entire story because it would take like 10 minutes, but pretty much at the age of like, I don't know, like queen years, I guess, like my middle school years, I started playing basketball. I had all of like the gear and clothes then, and I'd say that's kind of was what eventually segued me, so I'd, I would say around there. Let's see, what are some favorite loafers at the moment? I've talked about the Our Legacy ones, I've talked about the Fugazi ones. Um, and Blackstock and Weber, is that the name of the brand? They have really great ones. Uh, Marnie has good ones. There's there's good ones all over. Bass has some good ones. Um, look it up, you'll find something you like. Are you planning to become a designer or more of a marketing slash model thing? Basically, I guess just asking what I want to ultimately do with my life. Great question, I'm also figuring that out. Um, I graduated with a degree in marketing, so like I'd probably stick to that field if I was, for whatever reason, needed to model or, um, I don't know, provide any other sort of service. I don't really have a particular lane I'm trying to like stay in. I'm just trying to kind of involve myself in fashion as much as I can. Um, with that being said, my like immediate interest is like fashion slash social media, like influencer marketing kind of thing, whether that's on the influencer side or the PR side, I guess. Favorite colorway for guest striped tee? Um, you guys know the answer to that one, that orange and that orange and yellow ASAP tee. If you were going on a trip and could only pack one pair of shoes, what are you taking? It's a good question. When I went to New York, I packed two shoes. I feel like neither one of them were the perfect shoe for me to bring. I think I'm gonna stick to my Solomons that I had. I had like my BBS Solomons, and while I think that they're kind of hard to pair color-wise, um, they're comfortable and they went with stuff like enough to not be like, you know, they weren't like the best option like fit wise, but they weren't the worst. It's probably my best option that was still comfortable to walk in. Drums or flats? Question mark, question mark, parentheses, chicken wings. Um, flats. What makes an outfit cohesive for you? I think it starts with silhouettes. I feel like more so than anything else, if like the proportions are off, if like the silhouettes are off. The whole fit is going to be a little discombobulated. Obviously color and like textures and all that like also play a role, but I think initially speaking, the silhouettes are the most important. Where to get good vintage tees besides the thrift for not too expensive? Um, that's going to be a difficult one because obviously anybody who is not selling vintage tees on a thrift, like at a thrift store, are gonna be resellers, so everyone's gonna be trying to make a profit. With that being said, um, 
I mean, there's always like flea market, or you can just try like places like Depop, places like eBay, and just kind of sort out like what price range you're in and hopefully you find something. If you could afford any piece, what would you buy first? All of those questions are very difficult for me to answer. Like what's your top grail? What's like, if you had a million dollars, like what piece would you buy? Like, I feel like all those are very difficult for me because I don't necessarily have like anything that's like top of the top of the charts on my list right now. I do like those uh, those uh, Bottega Veneta pineapple shoes, but I don't think that's like my top choice, but um, that's just what's coming to mind right now. But that's not my answer. That's just, that's just my, what's coming to my head right now, but that's not my answer. So me and uh, Ralphie over here are currently editing this video. And um, while I still don't have a concrete answer for this question, here are a few others that are, uh, somewhat piquing my interest. Where to find vintage underwear? Salvation Army all day long. Um, they have all the heaters, they have all the um, poop stained, um, fruit of the looms, the, the tidy whiteies, they have it all. Fast fashion thoughts. Um, I don't really wear fast fashion. I try to stay away from it. I try to encourage others to stay away from it. Um, there's brands like Uniqlo that I still you know have some respect for because I feel like their stuff is actually pretty good for like being fast fashion and it holds up pretty well. Um, but for the most part, I'm pretty anti. Opinions on Doc Martens. I feel like Doc Martens are a great entry into like, like shoes and like footwear that's past like sneakers, like boots, loafers, all that. I think it's a good like starting point and it's a good like classic overall. Like even if you have been into like shoes for like years or whatever, like you've been wearing like boots and like high-end stuff like yada yada whatever you can still appreciate a doc martin it's like a timeless classic kind of thing favorite fit from yourself uh i'd probably go with the old craig green marnie mule fit thing um uh, i just think that those photos turned out really good i don't know if it's like my favorite fit i also like the ones with my like john deere jackets um those are just like my outfits that i feel like on a day where i don't know what to wear i have those and can rely on them so current most and least favorite brand i feel like all these questions i don't know why they're so hard for me to answer those types of questions because they seem like the ones that i would have like a concrete answer for but i really don't least favorite brand is pretty easy i feel like um probably something like v loan or honestly like gallery department's pretty low on that list i just don't like fully understand it um honestly there's even worse brands out there like if you like like I'm just, I'm doing like high-end like type brands right now. I feel like if you just look at like base level stuff, like Fashion Nova Men and stuff like that, like you'll find some act, act, actual like garbage. So you kind of see the vision there. Um, minimal, you know, there's, there's, there's plenty of them. Um, in terms of my most favorite brand, I feel like there's, there's too many out there for me to like kind of pick one. Um, I feel like that's always been kind of a struggle for me to like pick like my my favorite brand if you will um, So I'll just keep it moving favorite thrift stores in New York um, Let's see. I went to Second Street. I went to Beacons. I hear Crossroads is good. Stella Dallas in Brooklyn is really good um, L train Pro Cell um, there's probably more out there, but those are the ones that I remember going to that I enjoyed. Um, so that's probably good for now. What pants do you recommend for an oversized scrotum? How are the Anderson Bell Asics treating you? I sold them. I actually really liked them. I just didn't have anything to match the colorway I got. So don't let that um, discourage you from buying a pair because I, I liked them. Favorite TikTokers? Um, no particular order. Um, I've got a lot of respect for Wisdom. I feel like he kind of like is the the OG, the the best at it in terms of like fashion TikTok for men. Um, got a lot of respect for like Nolan and Julian, um, JQ. Those are the ones that I am thinking of at the top of my head. So favorite piece I have right now, um, probably either my Marty Mules because I think they're just like fun and they're just like enjoyable to wear or my Craig Green jacket. How do you know how old your vintage stuff is? A lot of it's just like learning about like tags and stuff and like going online and like checking things out like that, especially like when you're like starting out in it. 
you do a lot of that and then eventually you kind of like see the patterns and whatnot. Um, some stuff is like just straight up dated for you already. Um, and then there's like quality indicators, like certain stitching and then like, um, whatchamacallit, it's like zippers, hardware, things like that. What was your first dream sneaker that you eventually copped? Uh, back way back when um, I really wanted the Kobe fives like the purple and gold like shimmery looking ones and That was like the first shoe that my like mother uh, Like bought me or whatever that was like a shoe that I wanted as opposed to just like kind of picking out like Whatever is in the clearance section kind of thing like out of Kohl's or whatever So that was kind of a big thing for me, and I just like beat the crap out of those so I'll go with that because that was that would be my first um yeah, that's pretty much it. Someone asked why I hate heart shoes so much. Uh, I, I own a pair of heart shoes and well, they're they're my friends, but I have them on on deck Ooh, at all times. Look at that yellowed sole. These things got a lot of love on them. Um, but yeah, that's all the, all the questions I'm gonna answer this time. That was a lot. I'm parched now. I need to drink, drink some water. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you want stickers, as always, DM me on Instagram. If you enjoyed this video, like it, give it a comment. If you have any further questions, definitely, you know, go ahead and ask them. I can either address them in the comment section or maybe we'll do a part two of this video eventually down the line. Uh, but thanks again and until next time, bye. Elise Shane. Yeah, Elise Shane.